Good morning, everyone. Today is the 7th of June, 2023. It's Wednesday morning. It's hot day. Mark has been reading through this book, God Does Not Love Everyone, But He Does Love His Elect from Everlasting to Everlasting. He's made it through chapter chapter 36 in the book. Um, there's only two chapters left. 36 and 37. This one is on entitled to them that are sanctified, preserved, and called. To them who are sanctified, preserved, and called. Chapter 36. Uh, if you're interested in obtaining a copy of this book, if you'll go to LarryWPhillips.com, go to my contact section. Email me and request the book. I'll be happy to send you a PDF copy of it. I'll turn this over to Mark. Chapter 36, To Them That Are Sanctified, Preserved, and Called. The book of Jude also makes a very clear, clear distinction between those who elect of God and those who are not. And Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, and Brother James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father, preserved Jesus Christ, and called. Mercy unto you, and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which is once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crypt and unawares, who before of old ordained to this condemnation ungodly men, turned the grace for God into lasciviousness, denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, Afterward destroyed them that believed not the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation. He hath preserved everlasting shame and darkness in the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth, for example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, Speak evil of dignities, yet Michael the archangel, in contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. Durst not bring him a random accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they knew not, they know not, but what they know naturally is brute beast, and those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they had gone the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the of Balaam for reward, and perished in the game, saying of Kor, These are spots of your feast of charity. When they feast with you, feed themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees, whose fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming out of their own shame, wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, to convince all the ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have God, ungodly committed. All of their hard speeches with ungodly sinners have spoken against them. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, their mouth speaking the grace, willing words, having men's persons in admiration because vanished, but beloved, because of the words which were spoken before the apostles, the Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after own oh, God lust. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit that you beloved, that you beloved building up yourselves on your home, on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keeping yourselves love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ and eternal life. And some have compassion, making a difference. Others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hitting even the garments spotted by the flesh. Now to him, now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you false before the presence of his glory of exceeding joy. 
the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. G1-325. Next time, chapter 37. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate you doing that. Hope you all have a good day today. This is a, very much a affirmation of the election of God. God bless.